Yo, what is up, guys? Your boy Ryan White here, back with another video on the Man Few Words podcast today. I got Coop Dog with me, of course. Hey, We're back brother. on the What's desk. Up, bro? Uh, how are you doing, Coop? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing very well. The NBA's back finally, guys. Uh, there's been a couple interesting things I've been looking at recently. Um, as you as we know, the Lakers are struggling, of course, again. Yeah. Um, Cooper, I know we've been talking about it a long time, but you know, when will this, you know, Lakers, when will they trade Russell Westbrook? Because it feels like at some point this year, maybe next year, they're going to trade him, right? Yeah, I feel like at some point they, they have, they're going to have to be wanting a trade or at least trying to lose profit, honestly, with him because right now he is making them lose profit. So um, I think obviously it, it comes, it ebbs and flows with any thing in life. So I think he, I don't want to say he's like at the end of his career, but he, he very well could be. So it's, it's kind of tough to watch. Um, mm -hmm. I just hope he can find something in him and just turn it on you know i mean he's never really been a great great shooter mm -hmm. um, i i think just with the game it's transitioned in such a shooting heavy offense so that really hurts players like him i mean john Morant, who who has been having a great season so far right uh these four games um yeah. i think I think we'll see, like, in the long run, whether or not these players that are more uh, drive-heavy, like, mid-range shooters, how they do within the NBA, how it's set up right now, because you have these crazy, like, Splash Brothers we saw in, like, 2016 to, like, 20. I mean, they're still doing it. They're still doing yeah. it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they've changed the game forever, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's tough on Russell, especially because you've got to put up some threes, and when he does, he doesn't make them. So, right. yeah, I think Russ, man, he he's been a guy of the last couple of years, definitely up and down. You know, yeah. Um, I mean, with the Rockets, he was pretty decent, I would say. Um, but you know, I don't think he he hasn't really been injured at all, right? So I think yeah, yeah, he's been fairly healthy, like with yeah. these teams. So it's kind of strange. Yeah, maybe he can do like a Lonzo, maybe and like change his shot. Maybe I think that might be the problem. Yeah, because he's had the same shot for you know his whole life. So yeah. maybe that would be something to work on. But I mean, it's it's this late in his career, right? So right. do we see that happening? Could maybe. You... Maybe. So if they do trade trade him, Cooper, you know where. Could you see a good, like a solid fit for Russ to land at? I think first off, you have to think of okay, who can actually take his contract because yeah. he's got a massive. He's getting contract. paid like what forty five million. Yeah, right? so I think maybe maybe the Lakers are just waiting till it's up. Okay, and so they can because he's been on the in. Lakers for. <laughs> The last two years, yeah, and he's not doing anything, and the returns on him just not great. Right. Probably not great for ratings either. Yeah, yeah, because I saw some with like the Jazz potentially trading. They were they requested a trade for him. They sent a trade over for uh, Russ and somebody else, all these assets, but the Lakers said no. I was I was kind of confused by it. Yeah, that is surprising. I feel like maybe they're not getting enough for what. Russell's worth okay. or was worth when they signed him. Yeah. So I, I think that definitely probably factors into them saying no. Mm -hmm. I don't know who, who all was in that trade. Right. Um, I'm just gonna butt in real quick. Um Zion Williamson, he's out. Yes. Versus the Mavericks. He landed on his back. Yeah. A pretty bad fall. Um, obviously, we you know we wanted to be back, mm -hmm. which he he was. Yeah. Until this. Um, but you know, Brandon Brandon Ingram's out, Zion's um, out. Yeah. Um, 
Pelicans. A lot of other guys are out on the Pelicans right now. Yeah. And it's kind of it's kind of sad to see because it is disappointing. Because I mean, it's your favorite team. Yeah. You know, we talk about all the time how behind the Thunder. Okay. Yeah, Thunder always the, has yes. has uh, its place in my heart. But... Zion, man, I just he's had bad luck. Yeah. I think that's for probable. sure. Um, he's just a big body, and when you're when you're that big, it is like kind of dangerous. Yeah, uh, especially playing a really physical sport. You know, we he wants to have those massive plays, highlights. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's just just get better or rest, rest yeah. up, man. Rest up, Zion. I really hope to see you back. Um, I don't think this will affect the Pelicans yeah. that much. I, I mean, think I think they'll just be fine. Yeah, because um, CJ McCollum can hold it down. Yeah, for sure. We've seen him hold it down. Yeah. So I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not either. Nor should Pelicans fans be worried about it either. No. Um, <laughs> but back to John Morant, he's been on a tear recently. Yeah. He's averaging 35 points in the last four games. Yeah. Um. Just praise to him because he's been yeah. a guy who's, you know, battled injuries, uh, especially in the playoffs. Could this be his MVP year? Are we seeing that right now? We might be witnessing. Some that. people are saying that he's the front runner for the MVP already. Yeah. Um. So, what are your thoughts on that? And like, well, the Grizzlies because they they've been in the hunt for a while. I feel like the playoffs. Um, it's just a long game. Um, MVP especially. Uh, I mean, you've got to show major consistency to be up in that top. So, I think it's just uh, it's not not enough time to really see what he's actually right. capable of. Yeah. Uh, throughout the season, so right. we'll we'll see what he can do. Um, I I'm all for it, bro. He's very exciting to watch. I mean, yes. he's. I, I want to go to more Thunder games versus the Mavs. Um, mm-hmm. So, and I got lucky with my uh fancy basketball team. I got an auto pick. I drafted my whole team, and I got John Morant first nice. pick. <laughs> so that's a good first pick. Bro. I don't know. And then I got James Harden, and then a couple nice. other guys. Um, but moving on to the Blazers, man, this team has been. They are blazing. They are blazing. Right now, yeah. they're on fire. They're four and zero. They beat the Kings, Suns, Lakers, and Nuggets. Mm-hmm. Some respectable teams there, you know. Obviously, um, yeah. how do you probably feel about... some teams that are kind of finding their footing as well? Yeah, how do you feel about the Blazers right now? Because I mean, they are looking mm-hmm. really good. I know. Um, it's it's really tough to say because it is the NBA. It's eighty two game season. Like the first. A uh, couple weeks, it's not super serious. It looks like they have some good chemistry. Yeah, right yeah. It's yeah, definitely a place where cultivating chemistry, getting your starters back out, getting them healthy if they are not. Um, and I they're think, all healthy right now. Yeah. The Blazers. So, I mean, I I would love to see the Blazers succeed and do well because... Damian Lillard. Yeah, he's been, he's been there for a while and... He's not he's, been able to create he's not going anywhere. a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so now he finally has um, Shade and Sharp and a couple others. So. I'm a big fan of Damian Lillard. I like, I respect him a lot because yeah. he's he's a guy who hasn't really moved. He's a you franchise know? player. Yeah. He's a franchise guy. Uh, when things were getting tough, he was like, "I'm not going anywhere. I'm mm-hmm. staying with the Blazers." I hope they do well. They they're looking really good right now. But moving on, a little surprise, Cooper, the Spurs. Three and one. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of guys on that team who I don't really know that well. Yeah. Because they're really young. Yeah. Um, they're looking really good. Pop is doing really well. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's he's his still last there. Year. He's going out with a bang. Right. So I think when you have Pop at the coach position, yeah. anything, anything can happen. Yeah. So how do you feel about them so far? I mean, I know it's pretty early, but I mean, I think it's. I mean, like I said, it's a great place to build chemistry. And uh, obviously, like, these games don't matter as much, but it's still great <clears throat> to see a win. Uh, so we'll see how they do uh, later on in the season as well. So Yeah, moving on to the Nets. 
Um, they've been kind of a team that's been struggling as of really late. Um, KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons. Um, they're all they're all trying to you know they don't have very much chemistry. Number yeah. one, um, which to me is one of the reasons why they're struggling right now. And number two is you know Kyrie is he's kind of a ball hog sometimes. Yeah. I feel like I think I think. Uh, him and Kevin Durant can be uh, bogs. Yeah, yeah. Find his way in that mm-hmm. team because obviously he's only been there for mm, like four or five months, yeah. right? Playing, he's been eh, not uh, playing. about a week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not to the Thunder Cooper, our home team. Um, I went to the game on Sunday against the Timberwolves, mm-hmm. and uh, we lost. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. By about twenty. How, how was the experience? The experience was awesome. We had great seats. Uh, we had really, really good tickets, and um, the atmosphere wasn't didn't feel that big. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, we're not expecting to be a playoff team this year. Do you think we they were like expecting to win? Well, I mean, Shea was out. Oh. Yeah. So, um. That kind of affected it a little more. Get to see Josh Giddy play, and that was awesome. Yeah. Um, he kind of he had like eighteen or twenty points. Yeah. Um, and didn't uh Lou Dort had? Wasn't he leading that game too? Yeah, Lou Dort did well. He had like four or five threes. Nice. Yeah. So, how do you um? I know Shea's already injured, but do you think we're gonna be taken again? Because I mean, Chet. He's not coming back this yeah. year. I mean, if if Shea isn't consistently here, then I think it'll be tough. The NBA is kind of clamping down on tanking, though. Really? Yeah. And they're saying that they might start doing, like, relegation. Oh, I saw this thing. It was like, um, it was like they're going to start taking, the like, the bottom yeah. teams to the G League. Yes. So... And I don't want to be in the G League. Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. They're trying to do what the Premier League in England, which is fine, but... Which it creates more competition. I like Right, you don't want to tank. And nobody likes tanking. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't... But sometimes it has to happen in order for a team to get assets that are good enough. So I really hope we uh, do something... But I mean, it is a business. It's a pretty big business too. So yeah, I hope we do we something. Have to, we have to respect that, you know. Yeah, we need we need to start winning pretty soon. Yeah, because we've been in this downhill struggle for the last two years. Yeah, three years maybe. Mm-hmm. So Paolo Boncaro, he's been looking really good. Yeah, he's averaging about twenty five points per game right now. Nice. nice. Um. So I think you had the first pick. It was Palo. Or was it? Yeah, it was his magic. No. What was it? The first pick. Okay. Yeah, it was Palo. Yeah. He's proven to be the first pick then. Yeah. He really is. He's looking really good. He's getting a lot of rebounds, making good shots. He can yeah. shoot on the outside, on the inside, you know. So um I think he's really, really bright future ahead. Uh, uh yeah. I think he'll be fine. Yeah. Dude, he'll be could we see him rookie of the year or maybe. Yeah. Uh do you think... think so if Chet is injured all year, do you think they'll let him like you know how they did it with uh Ben Simmons? And Joel. they let him like be in contest for the rookie of the year or be able to get it. Do you think they'll do that with him? Probably. Yeah. Because I mean, he's not being, he's not playing the whole year. Yeah. So he's out like the whole year. Yeah. So really, I think they should Which, probably unless we like by some crazy chance make the playoffs and make a deep run, we're probably not seeing him. Right. So. I think I think they will probably let him do that. Um. Yeah, I hope so. Because I mean, if he's not even in like on the court, and then you know what? Yeah. You can't say he, say he played Bro, at all. Honestly, he better have the most insane season next year. Yeah. Like, 
We've wasted all this time, all these losses. The second round pick. All these losses for you. You better freaking. Like, no, wait. The first round, second pick. You better freaking do some. Like, second for real. pick. Um, I hope in two years we can be like, oh, yeah. We even had a question that Chet was a pick. <laughs> Yeah. I, I really hope that is the reality. Yeah. So let's move on to some NCAA football, Cooper. I wish you would take the dub against Texas. What happened? Bro. What happened, Texas? Come Bro, on. Bro, shut up. <laughs> shut um, up, Joe. <laughs> but Bro, I wish you was looking really good. Yeah. I know we did We did lose to TCU. Number right. seven. Number seven. Yeah. yeah. They're, Tennessee, Tennessee they're right is behind like three or four. Yeah, they're right behind Alabama. Yeah. TCU is. And I, I'm i shocked, to be yeah, honest. Too, bro. I did not think TCU would like, be this good. It kind of came out of nowhere. They, I mean, if they remain where they are right now, OSU and TCU, they're going to be playing the Big 12 tournament. I mean, championship. Mm-hmm. And maybe OSU can get some revenge, you know? So did you watch the OSU-Texas yeah. game? Yeah. So, like, what happened to where – they scored that much on you guys. Like, was it just a breakdown of the defense? Probably, yeah, because they, they have the number one running back right now in the college football. Dang. Um, his name is B. John Robinson. He was very good. Yeah. Uh, he is probably a Heisman candidate. Really, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you think? Texas is on the come up. All right, they're coming up, coming back. Yeah. They'll be back either next year or the year after. So, yeah, but your Huskers, they are three and four right now. Yeah. Um, not looking too good. Not looking great. You guys need a new head coach. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, but you do play Illinois this week and they're ranked number 17. So maybe a chance to redeem ourselves. Right. I think this is your guys' chance to show what you guys got. I hope we actually don't get creamed this game. But yeah, I think it's mainly just your defense right now. Yeah, because your offense is good, just your defense. Yeah, it, it is a good offense, but yeah, the defense, which usually our defense is pretty good. I don't know, man. The Broncos just suck. This is a Broncos offense, offense, defense is pretty good. Yeah, this is an offense. <laughs> oh my god Lily, that's what they sound like but yeah their offensive line definitely needs to improve Reese Hall towards ACL he is out the year um, he's on the come up and he unfortunately you know towards ACL he also towards meniscus so the Jets they went out and they got James Robinson who was very reliable He's a good running back, and it's kind of opened the door for uh, Travis and Zian mm-hmm. to come in and be the lead back in Jacksonville. So, I don't know. I think it's a, it's sad to see Brees Hall, you know, go down, but yeah, I think Jess will be okay um, overall. We're definitely working on getting another person on here. Yeah, we uh, uh, we're gonna definitely try and upload like. Like three times a week. I want I want to at least yeah. we can do Zoom. Uh we were gonna do Zoom, <laughs> but miscommunication. Yeah. Um uh, but yeah, we'll do more Zooms, yeah, shorter episodes, yes. maybe like stream a game, maybe Thursday night. That would be fun yeah. if you want to. Maybe. Um we do have Thanksgiving break coming up. That's so. true, yeah. I do like Zoom though. Those OG Zoom days. Yeah. Those are fun. OG, baby. Bro, it was, I would be like on my Mac like all night. You had the worst chair ever. Bro. <laughs> was it like Real. a steel, yeah. steel chair or whatever? Dude, my 2010 Mac, you could probably hear it in the background. <laughs> like my mic, bro. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we really do. Uh, we love we're trying to get 200 subscribers and maybe even 1,000. You guys can. I mean, that's that's long term, but yeah. That's the goal, but 100. 100 right now, and then we'll move our, on. Our goal is limitless, but 
Yeah. We we set like little goals so we can actually accomplish yeah. smart goals. Yes. Can we talk about one thing real quick? Yeah. The Lions. I was gonna tell my boy Jose. <laughs> Jose, I'm talking about the Lions right now. Jose. Um y'all aren't looking the best. Okay, defensive wise. Yeah. You guys have the worst defense. Isn't it Iman St. Brown? Is he Iman Ra, he's been hurt or, yeah. a little bit. Um I think he'll probably come back. Big off, you know. Played the Cowboys last week, got yeah. absolutely crushed. Um, Their defense is amazing. So. Yeah. He had four turnovers, two interceptions, and two fumbles. Uh, you hate to see it. Yeah, but, you know, I think he's – they'll come back. I mean, yeah. they've had a lot of injuries. So, I think once those clear up, to normal. Yeah. So, I just want to get that in there. Yeah, just get that off your chest, man. Sorry. Well, that's it for us. Love Peace. you guys. Love you guys.